Since COVID, there's been a huge explosion in the deer population in the UK. Um, and as a result of that, two things have been happening. Uh, a, our, our train started to, to actually hit more, more deer on the line, but we, B, we also saw a lot more drivers reporting a deer on or about the line side. We estimate anything between about 50 to 60,000 pound per deer strike is the true cost. Last financial year, 23, 24, East Coast route um, uh, incurred nearly 17,000 minutes in train delay due to deer incursion or deer strike across the whole route. So if we can come up with a, a, a humane a, um, and a cheap and a very fast installation technique, um, then absolutely we, we can use it. Yeah, so the camera is really simple. Um, it's a very small camera uh, built into the device and that is used to detect uh, the surroundings um, during the day and it's got night vision as well. It's got um, artificial intelligence built into it, recognises that it's a deer and it sounds an audible alarm at frequencies that the deer um, acknowledge and to move them away from the boundary of the railway. We've tested it for, for 12 months uh, and pretty much eradicated the problem at that location and in fact we extended it to another hot spot as well. We've seen around a 20% reduction in animal incursions. Now that is all animal incursions, not just deer. What's really impressive is a 75% reduction in delays so far in the first uh, four periods of 24-25, which is absolutely fantastic and a massive benefit for all our customers. So the devices themselves um, are extremely low cost. They're sort of, you know, under £100 a unit um, and they've got an incredibly long battery life. Um, and we have, have actually looked at um, deploying solar panels as well um, to extend that and make it more sort of environmentally friendly. The big selling factor was the fact that it was so quick to install. It was a matter of days as opposed to weeks.